we've been here right through since its very inception, since 2010, and a man that's synonymous with this tournament is Tun Musa Hitam, and Peter caught up with him earlier in the week. It's always a pleasure to be here, and it's always a pleasure to catch up with the chairman, Tun Musa Hitam. Thank you for having us again. Thank you for we being look, with us. We look forward to seeing you every year. It's such a welcome stop, and everyone's made to feel so well, welcome. You, you must be really much. pleased with that. Thank you very much. So flattering to me that you say that. But yes, we are very proud of the fact that this is really the eighth year that LPGA has been held in Kuala Lumpur. I never expected it to be this long, to be quite honest with you. Uh, those days when we first got it, I couldn't believe it. I said, could we be that qualified, acceptable sort of thing? Now I'm told that uh, it seems to me, I'm told that uh, the girls look forward to come, yeah. coming to our club. And apparently, yes, I'm convinced because I get to know them enough for them not to pretend to be happy, but they're genuinely happy. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And the happy, more important over the fact that they are able to play golf and to compete. And uh, uh, to be able to compete is one thing, but the, the, the ferocity, if I may use the word, mm. in the competition makes it much, much more exciting yeah. for those who know golf to come here. And Tunnel, sir, I think the other thing about it is we play on a beautiful golf course, but you and your organisation are prepared to go the extra yard to look after the players. They are the stars of the show and they, I think they really appreciate that and that's why you get so much from them. Thank you. Um, we have been proud of this sort of reception that we give to visitors to begin with and we brand it, well, I'm sure other countries call it the same way. We call it the Malaysian way of expressing our hospitality. We're just about out of time, but there's one tiny little thing I'm a bit worried about for you. Mm -hmm. You are the chairman, but if Shan Shan happens to win this week, that's three wins and two top two finishes. She might take over your job as chairman. <laughs> she might become an honorary member of our club. <laughs> so she all. wants to it's be. It's not a promise, but it's, it's something <laughs> I, I would like to mention here. Yeah. We've been, uh, we, we love her in the sense of, you know, she's a great girl anyway. Yes. Uh, in everything, yeah. her personality, just like any good golfer, really. Indeed. Yeah. Lovely Thank to see you, you again. Thank, Thank you again for having Thank us you. at your place and your tournament, and we look forward to a great week. Thank you. Tun Musa Hitam, the chairman. Thank you. And what a fine man he is. Well done, Peter. Lovely interview there. And he is just the man that drives this tournament year in, year out. And I think it comes through in that, that he takes a lot of personal pride and, and satisfaction in the fact that the players feel so welcome and have such a good time here. And that's something that he really uh, delights in. And so we thank uh, Tun Musa and everybody for making us feel so welcome this uh, week.